Hey there, Intro to Multimedia students. This is Mr. Roper, and this week we're working on our space scene project where we're creating our own mini universe made up of planets that we're creating in After Effects. Um, today, I'm going to walk you through how to set that up so you can follow this along at your own pace. I'm also going to show you some of the resources that I've got uh, already ready for you so that you can refer to those if you have questions as you go. Remember that everything I'm about to show you is also posted on our Google Classroom page that you can see here. It's from December 1st, and you'll see some things like the step-by-step -step instructions that walk you through how to create each of the different parts of this project. And you'll also see the different images that I've given you of the Earth, Moon, Suns, and stars that you can download onto the CAD server to use to complete your project, okay? So first thing I'm going to do is come into Adobe After Effects, and I'm going to create a new composition. And on our composition, uh, if you look on Google Classroom, the instructions I gave you say that we're going to make a, a composition that's for HDTV 1080, uh, 29 frames per second, and 30 seconds long. Okay, so let's jump in here. I'm going to go to the preset, and I'm going to look for HDTV. 1080, 29 frames per second, 30 seconds long, and we're going to make our background color solid black. Okay. Also, I would go ahead and give this a name, and you can name it last name, first name, space scene. Okay. Now, as soon as I hit OK, that's going to create my new composition, which you can see here on the screen. And that's just going to give me a big blank black area where I can create my planets. Now, the next thing I need to do is import those photos that I gave you on Google Classroom of the Earth, Moon, Sun, and Stars. So I'm going to go to File, Import, and I've already downloaded these to my Downloads folder. So I'll go in there. Actually, I might have put them on my desktop. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Spacing, yep. And I'm going to grab asteroid, earth map, moon map, star field, and sun, and go ahead and import each of these. Okay, And they'll show up over here in your project bin where you can start to manipulate them. So first thing I want to do is create my star field where all of my planets are going to live. So I take the star field image, and I'm going to drag it down onto my timeline and let go. And as I do that, the image will appear. This is a pretty large PNG photo. So I'm going to scale it down to make sure I can see the whole thing. And remember that every layer in After Effects, if you click the little turn down handle here, you can open up its properties. And this is where you can change things like its position, scale, rotation, and opacity. So I'm going to scale this down. You can see it's really big. And at about, let's see, it's going to fit right at 50%, okay? So if I put it at 50% scale, it fills the whole screen. And that's all I really need to do for this star field for now. I'm gonna close it back up and it's ready to go. Now we're gonna create the center of our universe, which is the sun. So I'm gonna grab my sun image and drag it down onto the timeline. And this is another really large high resolution photo. So I'll open up its properties and I'll select scale, and I'm just gonna scale this down so I can see its edges right about there. Now this is an actual NASA photo. It's composited from lots of different photos taken of the surface of the sun, um, but you can see it's flat right now. So it doesn't give us that spherical shape that we would wanna see. So this is where we come over to our effects and presets tab over here on the right-hand side of your screen. And by Clicking in the search box, I'm going to look for an effect called CC Sphere. Okay? And all you have to do is drag this effect on top of your planet photo. And when you let go, it instantly wraps it into a perfect little sphere. Okay, And all of the settings for CC Sphere show up here in your effects control window. So I can change its radius if I want this to be larger. Uh, I can change its render to just be certain parts. I'm going to leave it at full. And then I've got some options here for light and shading. And as one of my students pointed out, the sun probably shouldn't have a shadow on it. So that's where we're going to open up shading. And we're going to just turn down some of its ambience or turn it up. I'm sorry. So I'll take this setting and I'm just going to turn it up 
so that this thing is really glowing. At about 106, it uh, gives me a nice glow there. Okay. On the lighting, you can also play around with that if you want it to be more bright or less. Uh, and you can change the direction of where the lighting's coming from, but this looks pretty good for now. Okay. Now, the other thing that's inside your effects controls that's really handy to use here is if we open up its rotation on this sphere, you can see that your planet can be rotated in three different dimensions. For example, if I rotate the X, it's going to rotate vertically. Okay. If I rotate the Y, it's going to rotate around its axis, okay? Pro like what we would expect for a planet. And if I rotate around the Z, it spins, as like one of my other students said, it spins like a pizza, okay? So it's spinning in a circle clockwise. So I think to make it the most realistic, I'm going to have it spin on the Y axis. And the sun is going to spin pretty slowly. So I'm only going to have it spin a couple times in the 30 seconds of my video here. So at the beginning, I'll put my playhead at zero seconds. I'm going to click the stopwatch. And then I'm going to take it all the way to the end. And let's have this thing spin four times, just kind of slowly over the course of that 30 seconds. Now, here's what that'll look like as I play it back. We're going to get a very slow orbit all the way around, and it's going to do that four times over the course of the full 30 seconds. Okay? I'm starting and stopping this, by the way, using my space bar. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now, let's go ahead and create some other planets. So I'm going to come back up to my project window, and I'm going to make the Earth. I'll drag my Earth down here. You can see again, this is a really large one. So I'm going to open up its scale. And the shortcut for that is S. If you hit S, it'll just open up the scale window. You can scale this down quite a bit. This is another NASA photo that shows the entire planet laid out flat. And I'm going to again drag my CC sphere down onto that planet. And whoop, we get an instant Earth. Now, this is obviously not to scale. It's a lot uh, bigger than it would be compared to the sun, but for our purposes, it's going to work just fine. And let's go ahead and go in and adjust the shading here. Uh, I'm going to turn up that ambient lighting a little bit so we can see the Earth really clearly. Um, and then let's also make our Earth rotate. So I'm going to open up the rotation. Again, we're going to rotate on the Y axis. And at the beginning, I'm going to click the stopwatch. And then I'll move it all the way to the end. And the Earth is probably going to rotate a bit faster than the sun. So I'm going to have this guy rotate, let's say, seven times. See how that looks. If I roll it back, now both my Earth and sun are orbiting, or rotating, I should say. And that's looking pretty good so far. All right. So now we're going to get a little bit trickier here. As we know, the Earth is going to rotate around the sun. Okay, It's going to orbit around the sun. So for this, what we're going to need to do is make it um, wherever the sun goes, the Earth is going to follow it and orbit around it. So I'm going to pause my video for just a second here. All right, I'm back here. And so we want to make our Earth orbit around the outside of the sun. So I'm going to move my Earth out here a little bit away from the surface of the sun. And if I open up that Earth map and I hit rotation, you see that the Earth just spins around its center. It's not orbiting the sun like we want it to. So to do that, I have to move this little anchor point so that that is the thing that it's going to spin around. Now, you have a tool for this at the top of your screen. It's right here. It's called the Pan Behind tool. You can also get it by pressing the letter Y on your keyboard. And that lets us grab this anchor point and put it right in the center of the sun. Now, what ha watch what happens when I rotate that Earth layer. Instead of spinning around itself, it's going to actually spin around that anchor point, which is tied to the middle of the sun. Okay, So really, really helpful feature here. Now, the other thing that I want to do is I want the Earth to go wherever the sun goes. 
So in that case, I'm going to be using this thing right here. This is called the pick whip. It looks like a little swirly. And it's basically a string that allows you to tie layers together to each other. So I'm going to take this pick whip and drag it from the earth layer down to the sun layer. And I'll show you what that does. If I move my sun here, let's say that at the beginning of my video, my sun is right over... So take my arrow T. Let's say my sun starts right here. And by the end of the video, it moves all the way to the other side of the screen, right? So I'm, I'm keyframing this to move from one side of the screen to the other. And because I tied my earth to my sun, you notice that the earth is moving right along with it. Wherever the sun goes, the earth is going to go too. Okay. So now they're both spinning. They're both moving. The last thing I need to do is have the earth orbit around it. So I'm going to bring it back to the beginning, open up my earth layer. I'm going to set the stopwatch for rotation. And I'm going to go all the way to the end. And let's say that by the time this thing makes it around the screen, the earth has gone around the sun. Uh, let's go one whole time. Okay, so I'll do one time there. Boop. Make sure at the beginning I had zero, sorry. Zero, zero. All right, now let's see how it looks. So not only is my sun moving, but my earth is orbiting the sun. It's being a little slow here as it renders out each frame, but you can see that it's clearly working. We've got a moving sun, a moving earth, and that's looking pretty good. All right. So final step here, let's make our moon. And we're going to do the same thing we did to the earth and the sun. We're going to do with the moon here. I'm going to open up, drag down my moon map, apply CC sphere. And of course, we want to make this a lot smaller. So I'm going to press S on my keyboard, shrink it down. Pretty tiny there. And we'll move it over next to the earth. Okay. So I've moved the anchor point of the moon to the center of Earth. I'm now going to tie that moon to the Earth by taking the pick whip from moon map and dragging it down to Earth. Now, wherever the Earth goes, the moon's going to go with it. Okay, You can see that they're following each other nice and easy there. I still want to make the moon orbit around the Earth. So let's open it up its rotation, set a keyframe move it to the end, and we'll have that moon orbit the Earth, let's say, four times. Great. And so now you can see that as the Earth moves, the moon is orbiting with it, and they're both following the sun just like we want. Okay? Looking great. So this is basically how we're going to create our planets. And you guys still have a few other things that you can add to your project. You notice I also gave you a file for uh, making your own asteroid. And we're going to be adding some special effects to this, things like glow. Um, we can put some fire trails on it. But for now, I'd like you to focus on creating your Earth, Moon, and Sun and making them orbit, orbit together. If you have some questions, don't be afraid to email me or we'll talk about it next time I see you in class. All right, guys. See you soon.